there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. I understand that, and I have, to, I have to go with the rules that are here, you know, but you guys want to call me out, but you're following the same culture, the dominant culture. So where the fuck are you going to be? Like, again, these are women, these are men who have no male dominant role model in their life. Cause, and then they'll tell you this. You know how women, you, you tell women they get mad, well, so? I'm like, what do you mean, so? That's what these men do. That's why. I can't deal with it. If I find out, like, I'll give you an example. Like, we were hanging out one time. These young boys come over. I know their moms. I know how hard-headed they are. And they start knowing. I said, look, man, walk down the street. Go somewhere else. Uh, we don't have time to deal with this. Over here, we're, we're men. Because like I said, when you're in a situation with men, like you could, I understand on Twitter you want to have, like, go back and forth. That's the nature of Twitter. And I understand on YouTube you can make videos against someone else's opinion because that's the nature of faith in YouTube. But on Facebook, well, it's all on YouTube. Well, it depends on the conversation. If you're going to sit there as another grown man and call another grown man a bitch, this, that, and the third, expect repercussions one day. It may not happen soon. It may not happen now. But like, I had this one dude, not a couple of people do this. This one dude offered me, if you find the video, I think I think it's one, look at the one with the, um, either go to my Google Plus or uh, go to um, uh, the, the one where I got the uh, Palestinians, or not the one with the rise up from the cold grave, I think it's the Israel one where the guy got the bomb and the Iran one where the guy got the bomb overhead. Look at the comment. I'm gonna do a lot of me five grand now. I kind of, I kind of guess who this dude is. He offered me five grand to job wherever he was, so he could, say, so he could say, quote unquote, lock my jaw shut. Now, number one, I'm not thirsty for money. A real man knows how to get money, even when there's none to get. Now he said for five grand he'll lock my jaw. Now I told him specifically, and I think it's in the comments, for twenty grand, it's a deal. You 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 wire me half of that. I'll come down and let you. I mean, you know, the first punch is free. The rest you're going to pay for. And he kept saying, "Well, let's get this bread. Let's do that." He, he, he's like, you, you, "You get the rest of you guys." Like, if five grand, well, that ain't gonna move me. What do you think I'm for five fucking grand? Now, if you had guaranteed me twenty, and it was guaranteed, oh, for five minutes of fucking work, I'm locking you the fuck up. Cause see a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you guys, and, a lot of, and I can tell a lot of you guys were never out in the streets dealing with real men. A lot of you guys are with the rest of the, the probably the rest of guys like you, single males had no male influence. Cause you know what they do. You know what these young boys do, and they'll, they'll smart off to you like their mom. Like one time there's young boys around. I said, hey man, you know you guys should be going home. Who are you? You ain't my daddy. And I'm like. Walk past him, don't say nothing. I was like, alright. What I wanted to do, I wanted to yoke them fucking up. But you can't do that nowadays. But at, at the end of this video, what I want people to get out is if you got males, you're raising males, or you got males, even if the dad's dead or they're, they're not in the picture, there is a dominant male out there for them that's in their life. Whether you, the mother chooses to let them in that life, I understand that. But once you get older to the point, like you're in your 18 years old, you got to find that dominant male that you want to pattern yourself after so you don't get fucked up in life. So I'm telling you right now, I, if I have to deal, like like this one young boy, he tried to steal my, like, and it's another story, he tried to steal my, I had a beater car. I just had a car, like, you know a car just to beat the fuck out of, it was like a, 90, what was it, 90, 90, what was it, 98, it was a 98 Honda Accord, just something to get me back and forth, like, like, I, like my winter ride. Well, I see this motherfucker, the door's open, like, one day I was going early to work. I see this door open, now mind you, I see a lookout doing this. I know it again. So I was like, well, what the fuck's up? So, I kindly turned back in, got what I had to get, turned back out and went out. So he's looking, so next minute, so 
I'm stretching, looking around, making, making like not obvious. So I walk to my car, I'm selling my, just before I get to my car, like maybe like 10 feet from my car, I see a figure lean up. I was like, what's up, bro? This dude wanna argue with me like some female. Oh, this ain't your car, this ain't your run. I'm like, dude, this is my car. This is my people's car. Now meanwhile, I see him do this. Slim him in the back. Now when he went to the back, that's when I had my hand on when I had my hand on. And I told him, I said, look, man, I had the job on this kid. I wasn't gonna call the cops because I was like, I ain't calling no cops. But I was like, look, dude, this neighborhood, you ain't going to shit. And he got, he was run off. I said, I someone give you a fair warning. If I see you come back here, green lights happen. I said, go to school, get a, get an education, get a degree, get go to a vocational school and do you. And that was my advice to him, cause, cause like I said, I got to tell people, people understand what I'm saying. I had to drop on him when he was stealing my car, or well, trying to steal my car. I literally had to drop on him. I'd have been within my right to, to wax him the fuck up. I, I, I could have fucked him up something serious, but I learned that like I want to talk to these kids and give them a chance first. I'm just going to like 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 now nah, if he pulls something out on me, hey, I'd rather be judged by twelve than carried by six. You know how that goes. So what I'm trying to say is. Find a Donald Mel for your young boy. If you're a young kid, like if, if you're 26 and up, you're probably set in your way, so this video really isn't for you. Like if you're 26 and down, try to find out, look for a male who you kind of look up to. Every every guy looks up, and when they were younger, looked up to another guy. Like, and, and if you didn't, that's because you got, I hate to say, you got bitchy, you got some chicks in you. So, learn how to talk to men. Learn how to be a man first, because only men can talk to men. Like, when I have a disagreement with another man, what you shouldn't do, you shouldn't call me names, you shouldn't... Like, I can get down in my witchy, but I don't do that. When somebody has a disagreement with me, I lay out an explanation why. Now, if you choose to be doing some bullshit, that's on you. But at the end of the day, you're going to find a man who's not going to play like... Like, we'll let you get away with it, because I know this is YouTube, I don't give a shit. But in the real world, there's going to be some motherfuckers on Yoki. And I'm going to be like... Your bitch ass deserved it. Some out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.